Hello, this is Engineer Mohsen and today I will tell you about how to create a WBS in Excel for a simple two-story residential concrete house. So these are the drawings. These are the structural drawings. You can see like these are the structural drawings. This is the ground floor, column rental plan beams and these are some sections and if you go to the RK drawings so I can show you like these are the ground this is the ground floor you can see like this ground floor and then this is first floor elevations okay so let's move to the schedule so I have created a tentative schedule based on uh, my experience and then I created a schedule if you can see from here so this is basically our final schedule for our activities you can see like this is the WBS level 1 this is WBS level 2 and this is WBS level 3 okay so this is our WBS and now we have to arrange and format it like uh, so that we can uh, import it in p6 xcr file so for that purpose i have created uh, four columns with wbs id wbs short name you can see like wbs short name okay let's write wbs short name okay and this is parent wbs wbs so what uh, is the physics behind this so if you see this is the wbs level one if you can filter from here all the wbs one are in this color and if you can filter like wbs level two this is wbs level two so so this is wbs level okay so this is wbs level one parent wbs is one by because WBS ID original was one and it should fall under this WBS level one. So these all gray headings should fall under WBS level one. Okay. So this is the concept. This is the relationship between this WBS ID and this parent WBS ID. Okay. So after that, this is WBS level two because this should fall under this WBS ID and this is WBS level 5 parent WBS level 5 because WBS ID is 5 and what is the physics behind this if you filter like from like this one okay so you should arrange it in ascending order from uh, in, in uh, numbers and then if you can see like WBS only WBS level 2 you can see like 1 2 so there is no hard science behind it so I hope you have understood the basic concept about this one so our next step should be we should create a project so let's create a project and if you can see select an enterprise i should select like enterprise with my name and then you can say project id is 3 to 1 and you can say this is the our project name and enterprise you can uh, set this setting at the later stages so all we have to do is open this project and you can see like there is no WBS here. So all now we have to do is to export this XCR file. If you can see like projects, okay. And we have to select a folder. I should select a folder from here. Okay, so this is the folder, okay so this is the folder okay so now what i have to do is i have to edit this in the xcr file
okay let's open it in dot xia file okay so notepad enables you to edit the xcr file so what you have to do is this is the project wbs starting from here so let's copy it okay then let's open a new excel file okay and just paste it like here okay so then what we have to do is okay let's save it in a file with name wbs import okay so now what i have to do is copy the data from here to the this excel file okay so i will tell you about this one wbs id we created here wbs id like here okay this is wbs id you should copy here and paste here like this one okay project id should be same obs id should be same sequence number should be same this should be same and this should be no okay yes for the project name and no for the other wbs level this should be wbs open now this is the wbs short name you can see like here and if you can find here this is the wbs short name let's copy it and then paste here okay then this is the wbs name you can find it in the previous excel file this is wbs name let's copy it and you can paste it here okay there's no need to color so let's arrange it here okay this is the parent wbs id that we have created here parent wbs id okay this should be like here and this should be like all the things are same okay and we should paste this percentage end to the end of the schedule and then write it to here okay so now all we have to do is okay let's copy it down copy it and then paste it here okay and then save it okay we have saved the axial file in notepad let's minimize it okay now we have to do is to import the axial file from where we have saved okay projects okay same folder is selected okay okay so now you can see how we can easily import the wbs from excel to the p6 schedule okay stay tuned for the next video goodbye